Hey guys, this is Execute OSRS here. Today we will be completing the Artie Easy Diaries. I will be showing you pretty much step-by-step uh, -step things to go through uh, to complete uh, the entirety of the Easy Diary. I will be doing this with every single diary, hopefully. At some point, uh, the elites will take a little bit, obviously. But I should be getting all the Easies out um, within the next week, I'm hoping. Um, without further ado, uh, we'll go into the items needed. You're going to need 5 thieving. 15 fishing, rune mysteries done, biohazard done, silk, a rusty sword, 100 GP, a knife or a slash weapon, maybe two teleports to Ari if you uh, are have it unlocked and or you have the uh, teleport tabs, and if you have a stamina potion it, it won't hurt. So I'm going to do these um, in order, I think that they're good. So first, um, you're going to want to steal from a cake stall, which is the baker's um, stall, so uh, it's usually not come over here. I may have done some of these already, so you might not see them pop up in the bottom, but I'll run through each one to make sure that you guys get them all. So you're going to just want to steal from the cake stall. This is where you need five thieving. So now you're going to go over to the silk uh, stall trader, this guy. See, so you can steal the silk from his stall. However, if you do that, you can't trade or you can't talk to him for an hour and you need to sell it for 60 coins each. So you're going to want to talk to the silk um, merchant. Go through the dialogue. Ask for 120 gold pieces and then you say I'll give it to you for 60 and then he said I guess I have to do and then you'll complete an easy diary so once you have sold um, your silk to the silk trader you're gonna want to go to the northeastern corner um, to have the wizard teleport you um, to the uh, to like the uh, pure s mine open the doors and whatnot, and you make sure you need to teleport. Once he teleports you, uh, you don't have to mine anything, you can just go to the portal and uh, teleport out. And then that'll be another uh, thing complete. Once you get done with that, you're going to want to go um, out of the little marketplace to the southwest, and I'll show you guys, uh, you're going to the church next. Running over to the church. Come on. Now what you have to do is you have to pray at the altar. Now I believe if you have full prayer points, you can just throw a prayer on. Just whatever your highest one is, have it drain one prayer point. However long that'll take, or you can throw on multiple, all of them, whatever. Oh my god, come on. Okay, then once you have drained one prayer point, you just pray at it. And then you will complete um, another easy diary. So now once you're done with that, go across the street to the south, and you're going to see this little dog looking icon. Uh, go in, and then you can just do check at Probita. And then that'll be another easy diary complete. That's all you have to do. You don't have to have any pets. So now the next thing you're going to do is, I'm just going to warn you now that this is a, uh, you're going to be going into the wilderness. And this is also why I suggest you have another RD teleport. Um, if you want to do this last, you can also do that, especially if you just want to like, walk back here and get your cape. However, um, if you're doing it how I am, you're going to want to already teleport so you can teleport back. So you're just going to go into this little room next to like the, the mourners um, near West Ardoin. And this is dangerous, so you can die if you go here with what well, with uh, stuff. So if you have stuff, bank it, pause the video and bank it. However, if you're just going in, you just pull the lever and it will teleport you. It gives you a warning and you can say, yes, I'm brave. And then you're going to go in. Then as an easy task complete. Now if you pull the lever again, it should teleport you to Oh, it teleports you back to our door, so you don't need the other teleport. I apologize. So then you're going to once you have um, done that, now you're going to run to uh, whatever this place is south of here, Port Cazard, and I'll meet you guys there.
So once you are in Port Kazard, So once you're in Port Gazard, uh, you're going to want to go to the Southern Dock first and talk to the Trindle Merchant and you're just going to want to give sword to him. Now you're going to need a rusty sword and 100 GP. Now he has a chance of the rusty sword just being nothing and it'll disappear and you'll have to go get another one from the means that you got it before. So he'll turn it into a sword if he um, finds it. And then you will want to do uh, the fishing trawler. So now you're going to come over here and talk to Mr. Murphy. I guess just Murphy. And then you'll say, uh, you'll say, can I get on? And then he'll like, you'll be a couple of dialogues and then you're going to get on the boat. I messed up earlier. That's why you're not seeing any of the dialogue. However, you'll get on the gangplank and then you will um, sit here for a minute and then you'll board it. And I'll see you then. So once you have sailed out on the fishing trawler, you will see an easy task complete. Um, pretty much once the boat stops or whatever you're doing, um, you just need to exit it or you can just kind of um, let the activity bar go to zero because it is kind of hard to talk to Murphy and try to get him to um, take you back. Now if he does that, see like it'll keep doing that. So you might as well just wait for the activity bar to go all the way to zero uh, if you can't click fast enough. So hopefully this goes down even faster. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ignore these things on here. I'm just flipping. It's not, it has nothing to do with the video. <laughs> come on, it's almost done. This activity bar, man. Come on. And once the activity bar reaches zero, you'll be kicked off the boat. And you'll be removed for activity. Now, if you do that, you're going to be teleported here. So now what you need to do is you need to run to your nil. So if you do uh, the, what's it called? The Nightmare Zone teleport? You don't even have to go to Nightmare Zone first. You just have to select Nightmare Zone in the mini games tab and click teleport. What? Ah, never mind, I lied. I'm gonna cut that out. And then once you're in your nil, you're going to want to go to this building, which is Alex Hunter Emporium. This is like where you can buy um, useful hunting supplies uh, for the skill hunter. You're just going to want to run all the way around. 
go into the building once you're there you'll see there's two NPCs I don't know that if you trade Leon it'll be um, it'll give you the easy diary done once you trade Alec uh, it should say easy task complete so now if you have an Artie teleport you want to teleport back to Artie because you have one task left to complete which is to enter the combat training uh, arena or camp so you're going to run it is north um, northwest out of the uh, out of Artie if you go from where you're teleported to it'll be a little bit longer run um, however if you have this shortcut unlocked uh, you can jump across the bridge and it's right here this is your destination but if you go from where you teleport to uh, you can just follow the route I'm taking and I will see you guys there And then once you are here, you can see there's ogres. So if you have completed bio, um, biohazard, which you need to complete to enter this, uh, you just open it and then you'll see the easy test is complete. So then you'll see your achievement diary has been updated and I believe that that is all of them. So once you have finished all of the easy tasks in the Arduin uh, diary, easy will come up green. You're going to want to come call, come talk to Two Pines to get your cape, and then you will just say uh, she'll give you um, a cape, which will look like that, and an antique lamp. Now, if you didn't catch um, all the rewards that you get from the cape, you will get one antique lamp that is worth. Uh, 2500 XP and any skill above 30 which I think I am going to use it in since I don't have very many above 30 uh, we're going to go with I am guess just attack and then so once you finish that uh, you now get double death runes when trading in cats to uh, civilians in West Ardoin uh, there's a 10% increased chance to successfully thieve from the stalls in Ardoin. Uh, some drops from the Tower of Life will now be noted, and you have unlimited teleports to the Ardoin Monastery. And I'll show you where that teleports you to. So you'll just use the teleport, and you'll be teleported right here. And you have unlimited teleports to this location every single day from using this cape. And plus, the stats for the cape are that. It gives you plus two prayer bonus, which I think is really good, especially for a low-level player. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. That was my Arduin Easy uh, Diary. I'll be coming out with other uh, diaries uh, in the near future. I hope you guys have a great day.